Hello friend, this is Dr. Pankaj Kumar, your mentor and in today's sessions we will be talking about embryo or embryology in plants in which we will be talking about dicot as well as the monocot embryo and their development starting from the gigot till the entire embryo being formed, right? So as we know very well that a fertilized egg is called gigot which is the starting point for the development of the embryo, right? Now if you uh, Compare gymnosperm and angiosperm, the basic difference is that in case of gymnosperm, the early division are free nucleotide, right? But in case of angiosperm, the division are cellular. What does it mean? That each division is followed by the wall formation in case of angiosperm, okay? So the development of dicot and monocot are entirely different, but up till four stage, four cell stage, they are similar. But beyond the four cell stage, the development is, is actually different from each other. So that's why we will study the dicot and monocot separately, right? So first of all, let's talk about the dicot embryo. So it was observed in a, a Seyfert pulse, what we call Capsula bursa pastoris, right? So here what happens that the first division in zygote is transverse, as you can see in the diagram, right? So here what happens, the first division is transverse forming a two cell, what we call suspensor cell, embryonal cell, right? Suspensor cell is going to form towards the micropyle, embryonal cell towards the chalaza, okay? But there are a uh, uh, few cases in which the first division is not transferred, rather it's a longitudinal. And this is found in only one family and that is the piper AC. But normally, the first division is always going to happen in the transverse only, okay? And the uh, dicot embryo, particularly I'm talking about Seyfert pulse, this is what we call crucifer type. Why we call them crucifer type? Because this is a type of embryo in which the entire embryo or we can say majority of the embryo is actually being formed by the embryonal cell and suspensor cell participate very less towards the formation of embryo. So such type of embryo or such type of embryology or embryo development is actually called as a crucifer type. Okay, so we will see a bit detail about it, right? So what happens? As we have seen in the previous slides that uh, uh, the cell has already been divided into suspensor and embryonal cell. So what happens? The suspensor cell divides by transversely, okay? And embryonal cell divides by vertical wall forming t sept 4 cell embryo as you can see there. And earlier also I told you up till, till this stage what happens? That the development in case of monocot and dicot is same. So from here onwards we see the difference in terms of the uh, monocot and dicot, okay? So this is what we call four cell pro embryo. Now both the embryonal cell later on divided by another vertical division forming octant stage as you can see in the diagram. So this is what we call octant, this is the quadrant stage and this is the octant stage, okay? Now the basal cell is going to divide by repeated transverse division forming a row of cells what we call suspensor cells. So these are the suspensor cells, right? And the cell of the suspensor cell that lies near the embryonal mass, okay, so this is the embryonal mass and the cell which is adjacent to the embryonal mass that is a part of the suspensor cell, this is what we call hypophysis. So this hypophysis is responsible for the formation of root cap. So that is the only cell that participate in the formation of the embryo, otherwise the entire structure is being formed by the octant only. Now the very role of suspensor is that it pushes the entire embryo to the wall because you see this entire structure is actually enclosed by the endosperm that is nutritive tissue. So their development requires some sort of tissue. So the very role of suspensor is to push them so that this entire structure remain in cons constant touch with the endosperm thereby it can take the nutrition during the course development. of development. Okay. Now what happens that the forces of the octant embryo that lies near the hypophysis is known as uh, hypobasal cells and that is towards the chalazal end is actually called as a epibasal cells, okay? Now the hypobasal cells give rise to radical, but mind it, the root cap is actually formed by the hypophysis we have already discussed. So the hypobasal cell give rise to radical hypocotyl and epibasal cells give rise to two cotyledons and plumule of the embryo, okay? Now what happens? All the cells of the octant divide by the periclinal division. So eventually a 16 cell globular embryo is formed as we can see the diagram. Okay. Later on, 
what happens this globular stays develop into a heart shaped structure right and all the cells of this heart shaped structure is actually meristematic so they have a capacity to divide right so later on due to growth the two lobes of the heart shaped structure develop into two cotyledons right and the tissue that are present above the joining place of both the cotyledons are responsible to form plumule and behind it it is a epicotyle okay the tissue present opposite to the plumule give rise to the radical so mind it both the cotyledons are present at the lateral position this is often asked in neat that in case of diacot what happens that cotyledons are laterally placed and plumule plumule is placed at the apical portion just reverse is going to happen in case of monocot so this is on the relative basis of the very position of cotyledons and uh, the stem apex we differentiate between diacot and monocot okay so once again i would like to reiterate that in case of diacot what happens that cotyledons are laterally placed and plumule are at the apical spur okay let's talk about monocot embryo i told you that in case of monocot embryo till four cell stage the division remains the same okay so it is the linear type of embryonic development that is found in monocotyledons so first division is transverse giving rise to the embryonal cell and the suspensor cell so you can see the zygote it will go for oospore so there is going to embryonal cell and suspensor cell right so later on what happens it is only the embryonal cell that participate and basal cell at max it is of one cell or two cell that is the only things that is going to happen in case of basal cell and here the basal cell is not participating in the development of any part of the embryo so that is another difference because in the earlier case what we have seen that the terminal cell of the basal cell that is apophysis were participating in the formation of the root cap but here it is not the case okay so what happens the basal cell later on increase in size and form a single large vesicular suspensor and they perform the same role what actually it is being performed in case of diacot that means they possess the embryo so that they can take the uh, food from the nutritive tissues right so as i told you the embryonal cell divides transversely right so what happens that the cotyledons is going to be placed at the terminal positions just reverse what we have seen in case of the diacot in, in diacot it was laterally but in case of monocot what happens it is terminally placed okay and that is known as embryonal axis cell so a transverse division takes take place in embryonal axis and that give rise to two cells right the one cell out of these two give rise to plumule initial and the second give rise to the radical initial okay so here what we see the initials are the responsible to form embryo in a lateral positions right and uh, uh, the apical cotyledons is formed by the continuous division of the cotyledon cells okay and later on uh, the in 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 the in the family in the in in the uh, poesi family what we see the cotyledon is called scutellum at its lower end the embryonal axis has radical and the root cap that is enclosed by another undifferentiated sheet what we call coloriza you can see in the diagram also so this is what we call coloriza that encloses the radical okay and the portion of the embryonal embryonal axis above the attachment of scutellum is actually called as a epicotyle so epicotyle has a suit apex and a few leaf primordia right and it is enclosed in a structure what we call coleptile so mind it that a suit apex is enclosed by a structure called coleptile and root apex is enclosed by a structure called coloriza so these two term we need to remember in our mind right so we are done with the development of uh, monocot and dicot embryo but before we conclude let's learn two more term what we call endoscopic and exoscopic embryo okay endoscopic is a advanced condition that is found in case of uh, angiosperm so here what happens we know very well that as a result of embryology what happens the first division is transverse then uh, the embryonal cell and the suspensor cell is going to form and the inner cell of the two actually uh, develops the entire embryo okay so embryo is going to develop from the inner of the two cells 
So whenever the inner cell participate in the formation of the in, the entire embryo, we call them the endoscopic. As I told you, it is a typical character of angiosperm. But in lower plants, what happens that again division is going to happen, transverse division, but the outer cell is going to form the entire embryo. When the outer cell is going to form the entire embryo, we call them exoscopic. The typical example is uh, bryophytes. In case of bryophytes, that is going to happen. And in those cases, what we see that inner part is going to form the foot. Okay. So this is all about the endoscopic and exoscopic embryo. That's all as far as the entire embryology is concerned. We don't have to discuss anything more. So as a concluding remark, uh, we can differentiate the dicot and monocot embryo on two aspects. One, in case of dicot embryo, the cotyledons are laterally placed and uh, the stem apex are apically placed. In case of monocot, the cotyledons are apically placed and the stem apex are laterally placed, just reverse. Second, in case of dicot, what happens? The suspensor cell, a, a hypophysis, which is a part of suspensor cell, helps in the formation of the root cap or it participates in the formation of some part of the embryo. But that is not a case in case of monocot. In case of monocot, suspensor cell do not participate in the formation of any part of the embryo. Right? So that is all as far as the embryo is concerned. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. Right? Thank you.